I love this photo. Both of these, right? They're just having fun. They're playing. There's nothing sexual about these images. Hello, thanks for tuning in to another episode of my show. I clearly spent a lot of time planning this introduction. Recently, the Sports Illustrated The Body Issue came out and it's been circulating a fair amount on the interwebs and somebody asked if I would review it. Like, what did I think of the body issue since I photograph people's bodies? I'm like, you know what? That's brilliant. This has been around for a long time. I would love to share my opinion on this. So I pull up the website and unfortunately 2019 is the first year it has available, but you can see we go back in time 10 years. And I think this is amazing because there's been a huge movement, you know, with the, the free the nipple campaign, for example, to desexualize our bodies. Obviously there's a lot of sex in media in general, but we have bodies for purposes outside of sex. And just because somebody isn't wearing clothes doesn't mean there is sexual connotation to whatever is happening. And I think this is a perfect example to show these athletes being strong and you know showing off their hard work and not in a sexual way. You know, this isn't some WNBA star doing uh, a spread in Playboy, for example. It's entirely different. And we're gonna go through some of the photos and I'll give you my take on what we see here. So we start in 2019. And Scout Bassett, I think this is a very powerful way to, to start this whole thing off, right? It's like our bodies are incredible machines. And this is an example of our bodies not being perfect, not always being ours. And she's an incredible athlete who's kicking ass over here. And she has a prosthetic leg. Um, I love seeing those articles where it's like, you know, somebody has no legs and they're running a marathon on two prosthetics. And they're like, well, what is your excuse for not wanting to do the hard thing? I think it's very inspiring. Liz Cambage, right? Just beautiful portrait. Obviously this is a sparkly basketball. They don't normally play with sparkly basketballs. It's still feminine, it's elegant. I love the, the pattern in the background, which is the pattern on a basketball. It's just so beautifully done, nothing sexual about it. Katrin here, I mean, just, she obviously works really hard to develop these muscles and this physique. And I think this is a powerful way to show how strong and feminine she is. The Philadelphia Eagles O-line, it goes the same, right? It's kind of cheesy to hold a, a helmet in front of your junk, but it'd be that or a football or something else, right? And again, incredible athletes. They're not as, say, ripped as the Miles Garrett over here next to them because they're offensive linemen. But it just goes to show that even these really, really big guys are in incredible shape. And none of this is sexualized. Let's keep going for a few. Evander Kane. When I had my knee surgery after a snowboarding crash, I went to do physical therapy at the same place where the San Jose Sharks do all of their injury rehabilitation. They're our local professional hockey team. And when I first got in there, it was awesome. I thought I was in pretty good shape. I used to run a lot. I lifted, I played football in high school. Now, given this was like uh, six, seven years after high school, I thought I was in pretty good shape still. And on day one, they're like, do you want to try what we normally put people on as far as the machines go? Or do you want to try what the sharks do? And I'm like, hell yeah, let me see how I compare to these, these pro uh, NHL players. I couldn't even move the machine. And it was basically standing with your feet in these straps. And it was a Pilates machine. And you're supposed to extend, like separate your legs. And it, it tested your outer thigh and, and glute strength. I couldn't even get the machine to move. She's like, let me dial it back down to what everybody else does. And that was still a struggle. I mean, given I just had knee surgery, it was humbling to see that, you know, because the guys are, are covered in pads. You don't see how muscular and how fit they really are. Same thing with golf. I love this photo. Both of these, right? They're just having fun. They're playing. There's nothing sexual about these images. Abs, that's incredible, right? Just incredibly hardworking athletes having fun. That's insane. I love the use of gels. All right, let's head down another year. What was this, 2018? Saquon Barkley. Yeah, if I was a running back like that, I would be having a great time too. Sue and Megan from the US women's soccer team. Just incredibly strong photos. Softball. This was one of my favorites. So I did look through a couple of these photos. I didn't want to prepare 
a speech based on all of these because I want to get my own reaction as well, right? That's the whole point of this video. So I only checked out these first two years to make sure this was something I could have on my channel without needing to flag it as adult content. So here's two San Jose Sharks too with their beards, Brent Burns and Joe Thornton. That's awesome. <laughs> That's what I love about hockey players. It's like they're incredible athletes. They're hardworking. And they're some of the lowest paid in the professional athletic or professional world. Um, they just have so much fun. All right, let's scroll down a couple of years. Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, he had this incredible catch in a, in a prime time. I think it was a Monday night game. One of Eli's not awesome throws. But Odell, that's where like he secured himself as one of the top wide receivers in the league. And here, Amanda's photo doing, what is that? Not shot put. I don't know what that's called. One of the track sports. I think it's cool. It's one of the non-traditional, right? We see basketball, we see football, we see soccer, we see hockey, baseball, and the Olympic ring tattoo. That's so cool, right? Even the tan lines, obviously like not totally done up hair and makeup for the shoot. I'm sure they all have hair and makeup done, but I, I love that they left the tan lines so prominent there. Matisa, pro skateboarder. I used to skateboard when I was growing up. I used to do, you know, half pipes, the big ramps and stuff like that. Totally jacked up my wrist. That's why I can't do yoga now. I can't push on my wrist. I can't have any back pressure. Incredibly athletic sport, right? Just having fun. There's nothing sexual about these images. And that's what I love about it. This one's kind of seductive. I'll give you that. Wakeboarding, so cool. That's a creative shot. Bryce Harper, right? Baseball players. DeAndre Jordan. That's amazing. All right, let's keep going. So much fun. I believe she's a snowboarder and just having fun with it, right? There's nothing sexual about these. Coco, she's a surfer. Diving, that is incredible. Yeah, I can't forward fold like that. The kind of strength they have to do those. Absolutely incredible. Marshawn Lynch, beast mode. <laughs> Lindsay and Travis Pastrana. That's funny to see him on a bike like this. So if you're not familiar with Travis Pastrana, he is a X Games just champion over and over and over again. He rides dirt bikes and does like double backflips. And he was one of the pioneers of people doing crazy things in the X Games. Like when Tony Hawk did the first 900 and Matt Hoffman did the first double backflip on a bike, he did the backflip on a motorcycle, which was absolutely nuts. He also did like a rooftop to rooftop jump in Vegas for a Red Bull event. Pretty crazy. It's funny to see him on a cruiser like that. You can see the giant ramps in the back where he races his motocross bikes from, right? Swimming, Megan Rapinoe, it's cool to see her here again. Ariel, I photographed a ton of Cirque du Soleil performers. and Man, their core strength is incredible. Uh, I always do a thing at the end of those shoots where they photograph me trying to do what they do. So I've done aerial lira like this, which is the hoop. I've done chains, aerial silks, the hammock. I've done the rope, all of those things. I've spun fire. It is so much fun to try to do those things. Yeah, incredible amount of talent. And honestly, I think the hardest part is keeping that smile and that calm look on their face because this is just a hoop of steel wrapped in like grip tape. Um, the kind of tape you'd put on a baseball bat handle or a hockey stick handle. There's nothing soft or comfortable about it, right? And she's just so poised looking. And to have a prosthetic leg, absolutely incredible. Clearly, you need to be strong to sail, right? To be able to pull the rope, hold the, the sheets against the wind like that. Cycling, that kind of stamina. God, these are absolutely incredible. Racing, that's a crafty way to show that. I love in inviting my clients to bring things like this into their sessions when they come in, you know, whether it's a tennis racket or a snowboard, we've had um, motocross riders in here bringing their boots. And we photographed somebody recently, she had on this sparkly cocktail dress with these kind of boots like this. It was such a cool contrast. And other ones where she's holding her, her racing helmet. So cool to show that dichotomy and just how dynamic people really are, you know? That's a cool climbing photo. Chris Sharma is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why she's throwing tennis balls into a pool. That's kind of funny. Let's go down to some of the OG ones here in 2009. You can see how far they've come. Like these are still incredible photos. Totally different feel from the most recent ones. This to me is always the funniest play. I guess you would call it in, in soccer or football for everyone who's not in America. Where it's like you line up and everyone just tries to block the ball with their face. I think that's so funny. Ping pong. That's cool. Or table tennis, if you will. So much stamina and quick reflexes. I would love to do a shoot like this. Sports Illustrated, by the way, if you watch this video or if you know somebody at SI, please make me an introduction. I would love to do shoots like this. 
bull riding. Oh, that is ridiculously physical. Sumo wrestling. That's cool. I love this. Having a pregnant player right there and putting her front and center. So cool. And just like elegantly pose, right? This is a pose I would put somebody in in my studio. (laughs) And the World Series of Poker. I feel like we've all had poker games like this in college. No? Okay. (laughs) I think this is absolutely incredible. And I wish they would get more publicity doing things like this. I know you'd have a lot of people who would be complaining uh, how offensive these photos are and... People are going to want to censor everything and sexualize everyone in here. And you couldn't get farther from from the intention, Kelly Slater. Incredible surfer. <laughs> water polo team. Yeah, treading water for that long? Ridiculous. I know. I'm totally distracted by shiny objects. Uh, Patrick Willis. I still wear his jersey and he's been retired for like 10 years. That guy was, I think, the best lineman to play football in forever. God, that guy's a beast. Anyway... I think it would be incredible if more people viewed the body like this instead of just sexualizing everything that we do. I know a lot of companies get lazy with their marketing and they will create, they will, they will sexualize the product in some way or have some sort of sexual commercial to sell a thing that really didn't need to be sexualized. Uh, I, I think that's just lazy and sloppy. But just more examples of this showing how beautiful the body is and that it doesn't have to be sexualized. I know I keep just going back to that same thing over and over again, but it's so true. Incredibly strong snowboarder. Discus, more track events. I play disc golf and it is incredibly physical. Like I am sore after some of my games and I'm pretty athletic dude. I also don't have a prosthetic leg, so, you know perspective how difficult that really is yeah skating so much strength (laughs) roller derby love it i could flip through these for days these are such beautiful images anyway i'd love to know your take on this let me know down in the comments below what you think of this whole series of the the body issue is this something you think they should keep doing or is there another way that you think we could use images like this to change the stigma that anytime you see more skin than collar up or ankles down, that it has to be sexual in nature. I'd love to know your feedback. I got a ton of other videos that I'm gonna be doing moving forward, reactions like this. Um, Another one about Hilary Duff. She just came out naked on a magazine cover and I'm gonna do another video on that because I think it's absolutely incredible. We've had some other good ones here too. And if you have things that you would love me to check out, love to know my opinion, uh, send them on over, mike at boudoirguild.com. I would love to just experience more art like this because You know, this is what I want to do with my own imagery. I don't take sexy photos. I take powerful images of people being strong, confident, owning their space. And that's exactly what these athletes are doing. Gronk, he is ridiculous. So cool. Alrighty, I'm checking out. I got chicken tacos going in the slow cooker. My house smells so good today. I'm going to go check on those. You are amazing. See you inside. (laughs) 